Americans are. This is Outnumbered. I'm Harris Faulkner here with my co-host Kaylee McEnany and also joining us today Fox News correspondent Molly Line is here. Good to see you Molly. And Fox Business anchor and host of American Dream Home Cheryl Cassoni. Good to see you. Some too. of the deficiencies that we know of at the Secret Service. We know they're down at least 1,500 employees and we found that out at the first hearing and only hearing with now resigned Kimberly Cheadle atop the, the food chain at the Secret Service. Now we have the man who took her job. I that the way that they're from the, from the FBI Chris told me the way they're handling this has been clunky and that it's a hot wash investigation, just like nothing to see here. Yeah, well, I can tell you this shift. Well, here's the question. Does Donald J. Trump have time to wait for your paradigm shift? Yeah. The answer appears to be no. Yeah. Uh, Pete, I want to get last words. You know, we talked about technology maybe. at what are your thoughts about that? Shouldn't they have been there before? Exactly. But does he? We all ask that question, but does he really? And uh, did they really dig into whether or not there was animus? They, and they were HSI. So will we get a full accounting of how they were treated like he was treated like a second class candidate before that? We deserve to know those answers. There needs to be accountability for those decisions back then. You know, one good receipt. You said was already there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. OK, coming up. Vice President Kamala Harris's star studded sit down interview. that were part of that event with Oprah Winfrey. I argue this is why the Emmys and the Oscars don't rate anymore because nobody... You know, I wanted to play that, Harris, because it, there's this Hollywood media cocoon around Kamala Harris. Look, she did a fine job in the debate. She held her own, but she also had two moderators. When she was propping up Barack Obama so the world would get to know this man who spoke at, at one convention at that point and had been a senator. Pete, if her home has an intruder, um, she lives at the Naval Observatory. Secret <laughs> Service would be the one firing the weapon. <laughs> Yeah, that's unverified. I'd like, I'd like to see the proof that she's a gun on And comes out with these long-winded answers. And that's what swing voters have told the New York Times and CNN and all mm -hmm. the liberal publications. They need details. Uh, and thus far, we do not have many. All right. A former Border Patrol chief for the Biden-Harris administration is accusing the White House of covering up data on migrants with ties to terrorism crossing into our country. That's next. that were part of that event with Oprah Winfrey. I argue this is why the Emmys and the Oscars don't rate anymore. You because know, I wanted to play that, Harris, because it, there's this Hollywood media cocoon around Kamala Harris. Look, she did a fine job in the debate. She held her own, but she also had two moderators. She was propping up Barack Obama so the world would get to know this man who spoke at, at one convention at that point and had been Pete, a senator. her home has an intruder. Um, she lives at the Naval Observatory. Secret <laughs> Service would be the one firing the weapon. <laughs> Yeah, that's unverified. I'd like, I'd like to see the proof that she's a gun. And comes out with these long-winded answers. And that's what swing voters have told the New York Times and CNN and all mm -hmm. the liberal publications. They need details. Uh, and thus far, we do not have many. All right. A former Border Patrol chief for the Biden-Harris administration is accusing the White House of covering up data on migrants with ties to terrorism crossing into our country. That's next. Kaylee. Yeah, you know, this is a, an explosive accusation that in public in emergency intake facilities, kids, migrant children on suicide. To, to more illegal immigration than we've seen right now, th this is the open secret of the Border Patrol. You talk to Border Patrol agents, they all acknowledge this. One finally came out and was willing to say it. I hope city I'm meetings and uh, city council meetings in Springfield, Ohio. That's a program under the Biden-Harris administration coordinated to bring in an unknown number. They, they gave us one number here recently, but 15,000 of those are in a town that had 58,000 when they were. And there's another story of a 4,000. Cheryl. Interesting. One of the things this week that we learned that we're making that admission, but it was a very honest admission that he made in front of all of the financial press earlier this week. Watch list, they may be turned back, but again, we don't get a lot of information about who those folks are either. That's a good point. Cheryl, just real quickly, um, when the Fed chairman Powell yesterday was talking about how the immigration situation, this crisis is putting so much pressure that that was part of his calculation for uh, dropping the rates, he mentioned borders, plural. Right. Just like you just did. Yeah. Fascinating. Coming up, a Trump supporter says, well, we have some things that have gotten too expensive. A CNN reporter doesn't seem to think he has the right to feel that way. It was awkward. Next. The 
Bo Parade, who absolutely crushed the CNN reporter. Look, Pete, this speaks to me, the <clears throat> arrogance of the media, that this CNN reporter... Right, and so in her bubble, anybody that owns a boat is like a really rich person, especially if they're at a MAGA event. How could and they... It, 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 I think he did a lovely job. He did. And Cheryl, I mean, the fact is, we heard Griff mention that number two motivating bread is up 46%, beef is up 33%, chicken is up 41%, and change. And I'm sorry, but have you ever been to a boat show or looked at the price of boats? <laughs> lower. So, what he's talking about, he, he was one step away of, of being able to say, look, my kids like you have dreams. And small business tax credit. Is that a formula to reduce prices? Oh, you mean the opportunity economy that she keeps repeating? She's on a loop. Raymond Arroyo. I actually pointed that out last How night. How is that supposed to work? It's just, it's not true. But. Yeah, when the liberal Washington Post mm -hmm. comes out against the Democrats' policies, you know they're pretty bad. And that's <laughs> what happened with Kamala and price gouging. All right, well, the Biden administration has only installed, listen to this, eight EV chargers with its $7.5 billion budget. Wow. But Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg claims that's right on pace. <laughs>He mentions 2026, 7, 8, and then he goes all the way to 2030. Doesn't make a lot of sense. Harris, I, I want your reaction. Car makers are now losing billions of dollars yeah. because they're having to pull back on that investment that they had planned to build all of these EVs with the subsidies. That's one thing. Look, Teslas are great. What was it called? The zone of totality? There weren't enough electric vehicle chargers for them to charge up and get back without waiting in these enormous long lines. The infrastructure just isn't there yet. And that oh, is well, government being involved in clean energy is probably not a good thing. Solyndra, half billion dollar taxpayer dollars that just went bust. Cash for clunkers. Economic studies. Maybe that a country either side of the, uh, out of the aisle. As we build up this massive infrastructure, spend billions of dollars for yeah. something people do not want and that does not work. Yeah. Number one emitter of CO2 and we'll all drive cars with no yes. charging stations. <laughs> Makes a lot of sense. More outnumbered in a moment. And we'll be cold.